This is Mashka. She is a shy 10-week-old puppy of unknown origin. Life is hard for Mashka. Being as small as she is, she is constantly bullied by her brothers and sisters, as well as some of the bigger dogs she lives with. Mashka's home may not look like much, but she is a very lucky puppy. Mashka's home is Gostomol Shelter, some 30 kilometers outside of Ukraine's capital, Kiev, home to some 700 street dogs. Dogs that have been saved from certain death. Recent reports from Ukrainian animal welfare organizations tell of horrific methods used to keep the stray dog population under control. In one town alone, of the 400 dogs caught on a monthly basis, not even 10% are still alive by the month's end. Four Paws is the light at the end of the tunnel. They are about to give hope for the future. Today, the 23rd of April, Mashka's home will be the stage for history in the making. Four Paws International will kick off their Ukraine dog sterilizing project. The project will be the biggest ever and Gostomol will be the starting point. Over the last few days, teams of contractors and Four Paws volunteers have been hard at work restoring critical services like heating and water to the sanctuary. Volunteers are a critical component to an operation such as this one. Often their working conditions are far from perfect. They will endure dog bites and heartache at what they see. It is a thankless task. The rewards are few, but their impact on the project is massive. Um, es ist einfach wichtig, dass man sich einsetzt für die Tiere, weil sie selber können sich nicht helfen, sind hier gefangen, quasi in ihren, um, in ihren Zwingern. Und deswegen machen wir das gerne sauber, weil sie selber können es halt nicht. The morning of the 23rd of April was like any other morning for Mashka. She woke up to the barking of her 699 housemates, all hungry and all waiting to be fed. Four Paws project leader, Dr. Amir Khalil, will be wearing his vet's hat. Four Paws has pioneered a surgical technique that enables them to sterilize a dog in well under two minutes, the record being an unbelievable 20 seconds to sterilize one dog. Mashka is still too young to be sterilized, but her turn will also come as soon as she is old enough. Her puppy eyes see the first anesthetized dog being carried into the mobile clinic. Four local vets are crammed into the small space, all eager to see how Amir achieves the impossible. True to his word, the dog is sterilized in around 90 seconds. Who will do the next? It's so easy to do. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Key to the success of this project is publicity. A German television crew is busy documenting the day's proceedings. Amir is also scheduled to be part of a television debate at a local television channel. Project coordinator Agnes Cora receives a phone call from Amir just before he is about to go into the studio. It's ending. Hello, Amir. Mashka was going to be a TV star. This dog is now going to uh, meet Asya and Amir at the TV station because they're having a big discussion there. Volunteer Claudia Misch would be Mishka's chaperone. Okay. A short drive took the tiny puppy closer to her 15 minutes of fame. The little star was whisked through security at the television studio while our cameras were barred from going any further. Mashka was kept busy behind closed doors in the glamorous world of television production for a couple of hours. Then, it was all over. The exhausted puppy snuggled into her chaperone's lap as they headed back to Gostomol. The vets at the sanctuary had completed their quota of sterilization and had called it a day. Claudia and Mashka cut lonely figures as Mashka was carried back to her enclosure.
immediately her star status was gone. She was once again just a homeless street dog waiting for someone to love her. Claudia was the last to leave Gostomar after the first day of sterilization. Tomorrow she and the others shall return to start all over again. And Mashka? Well, sadly, the little puppy died. Her tired body succumbed to the harsh environment that she lived in. Her death is as a result of a society and system that works against the street dogs of Ukraine. Four Paws is here to change the perception of these unwanted throwaway lives. They, like every living creature on our planet, deserve to be treated with love and respect. Mashka's death need not have been in vain. There are thousands more like her. The dedicated teams of Four Paws staff and volunteers have a huge task ahead of them in making sure that Mashka's memory lives on in each dog whose life is saved.